a lot. I know she didn't walk away from this property by herself or off this yard by her swing. I feel in my heart that somebody has came up here and took her, has lured her away from here. Me and my mother and her were planting flowers. And we went in after we got done washing our hands and she got a piece of candy from grandma and she wanted to go back over and see her brothers. And I said, okay, and I walked her all the way over to the porch and I watched her walk into the kitchen where the boys were watching TV. And I told the boys, I said, watch Summer, I'll be back. And within two minutes I came back and I asked the boys where their sister was and they said, she went downstairs mom to play with her toys in the playroom. I said, okay. And I yelled downstairs for her a couple times and I didn't get no answer which was unusual because usually she always answers me. And so I went down there to check and she was nowhere in sight. She was just gone. I don't go on walks around here or runs because I'm scared of the bears and snakes and even the coyotes that are around here. Well, whoever has my daughter, I pray and hope that they have not harmed her and they bring her back to us safe and sound. Just turn, I mean, go to the FBI, the police, and uh, clear it up. I mean, I don't know, it seems kind of elusive. It's really strange that I've never seen this truck, and I've never heard of it until just recently. But I wish they would come forward and explain themselves. And if you're not a suspect, they at least come forward and say what you've seen. She was a tomboy. I shaved my head. She wanted to have her head shaved like me and the boys did. She tried to shave her head she tried in to the shave back her head and, and make it. Uh, I think you can see it in some of the pictures. And it was getting out of control. So she, we decided to shave her head off and let it grow back long. And she shaved her head to, to so she wouldn't feel bad. And, uh, but but it didn't bother at this point. Well, we knew, I knew right away that she was abducted. You know, I knew that right away. And that's what I told them from the beginning, but they have to, they have to go through their, you know, I forget the word. Investigation. They have to do one step at a time, I guess, but I'm sorry that they had to spend so many man hours in these woods and everything. I've seen them limping and everything else, you know, and I feel for them. But, I just wish there was a way that neighbors could search neighbors' houses and then if they're not willing, you know, get a search warrant or something, but th there's just no way you can search every single house, you know, in the eastern United States or whatever. But I wish there was a way. Just thankful for the person or persons that's doing that, you know, out of love, and trying, trying to get information and trying to get her found. And, uh, we thank them from the bottom of our hearts. It means a lot. And we thank uh, everybody who's trying so hard and praying so hard. And she's an awesome young lady, and uh, we just want her back. But, yeah. yeah, there's always going to be haters, you know, and, you know, it's always going to be that way in this world. And we just want to focus on the, the good friends and Christian people that are trying to help us and praying for us and praying for summer and uh, we thank them from the bottom of our hearts and that's the, the kind of people we try to relate with and socialize with so we don't know anything about you know no red truck or we hardly know many of our neighbors i mean because we just try to be around good people i mean and we do have good people in this area we found out since this has all happened uh, we got some real good neighbors and good folks everywhere but uh the most important uh, thing is to bring summer home safe i'm sorry that you feel this way about us but we love our children with everything we have we've never went without thanks to summer's daddy and my husband 
he's always provided for us and has worked as much as he could and can and still is. And I'm sorry that you guys feel that way, but that's my baby and nobody would ever treat her like that as long as I was around, ever. She loves to, she loves to dance. She, she would always want me. She says, "Daddy, hold my hand so I can twirl." And she would, she would just like to twirl and twirl and twirl until my arm got tired, <laughs> you know. But and you know, I I put out there that one of can uh, one of Summer's favorite songs was uh, Godzilla, and they say, you know, and they're jumping all over me about past tense was, you know, well. I'm sorry about that. It's just... She also liked the song um, by a New Breed. It was called House, My House. She sung that a lot of times when I play it on the TV. She loved to dance. She liked to think of herself as a princess and, uh, you know, and all that like all young girls do. And, uh... She loved Frozen. She loved to be that Elsa and I think she really loved to be in church because she felt a lot of love there. And I think it's, you can't explain what that love is, but you feel it and you know it, you know, when you're young. And she felt that there and, and she loved everybody in that church. Or she loves everybody in that church. I should rephrase that because they'll tear that apart as past tense. And I apologize again for that. I hope she gets to come home, you know, and I hope she gets to be with our church family again. Our best friend in that yeah. church was Robin. She loved yeah. her to death. Yeah, she looked up to when women that were... she come to that church, she went looking for Robin. That was her favorite person. Any woman that uh, was professional, that... Was pretty, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, she looked up to those kind of women. She, you know, they were... Uh, how do you, the word I'm looking for, I can't think of it, but... She looked up to them. She'd give them a run for their money every day. She'd give them a run for their money. And there was times, you know, we'd, we'd be, you know, at our boys like, don't do this and don't do that. And next thing you know, the stick would come up and just whop them, you know, and it'd be like, Summer, don't do that. You Summer know? was the boss of the family. Yeah, she's she, typical girl. When they get out of line, she'd put them in line. She'd do her best. She loved to play in the mud and the water and swing on her swing and enjoy dirt. When I was when I run the lawnmower around, she she would run behind me. When the boys run their bikes around, she as fast as that little bike could go, she would be behind them running and keeping up with them, no problem. You know, she loved to run. She just loved to run, and uh, she could pull herself up on that swing, her full body weight with her two hands, and she could do that. Nobody, none of the other boys can do that, but she can. Was she at school yet? No, no. she was going this year. This was supposed to be her first year She's of kindergarten. Been, uh, we did all the what? I took care of everything. Yeah. She, I had her already took on all of her shots and registered in the school for ready for this year. Yeah. I just never expected for anyone to get a hold of my heart like she has, because I try to guard my heart as much as I can, but she just, she's, she holds my heart in her little hands, and I love her with all my heart. I mean, I'd do anything to have her back. If there's any way if you can find it in your heart to please release her Somehow, I don't know how you might do that. I mean, cause I'm, you're probably scared of going to prison for the rest of your life and everything else, I'm sure. But please find it in your heart, have mercy, and find a way of letting her go and, and where we can get her back. And uh, just please have mercy on her and, you know, and us and her, her brothers. and. She's such a loving, good spirit. Please, please don't hurt her. Please let her come home. That she's, my biggest fear is, you know, her being tormented or 
locked in a, a dungeon or basement or something because she loves she loved to be outside all the time and that's that was her unfortunately her you know her downfall because a lot of times we the boys would be inside and we'd be like where's summer why'd you leave her out there alone you know go get summer now you know and that's happened over and over again and uh we'd come out and she would always be close by but we was always coming up she had to be outside she was an outdoor person and she, she loved to be outside you know and i just i'm so afraid that she's locked away she's such a loving heart and everything and i'm afraid that she won't be able to you know i'm blocked away where she can't be outside or play with a puppy or anything love nature you know you know and it just it's that's my greatest fear that she's not able to do any of these things anymore or or that she could possibly you know i i I don't want to think she's dead but it's a possibility i don't want to address all the negativity i just want to focus on the positive because it's so easy to get you know lost in that negativity and stuff and it's just not worth it so i'm just uh, I appreciate y'all, the, the good things you say, and, uh, and your prayers. That's awesome. When my sister came up missing, I was in watch between you. Arkansas and Tennessee. I don't know all of what happened or what did happen, but I hope that they find her, too, and bring her home safely, too. Well, yeah, there's no... there's. Nothing. I mean, she disappeared without a trace. They haven't found anything. Haven't found a body. Nothing. And and you know, when you see cases like that, that's why I lose hope on summer. You know, I want to keep hope, but sometimes I just I I, I just I lose hope. Lose it. And I think, well, maybe we won't never see her again. You know, or so I start thinking in past tense. Sorry, but I'm trying to keep hope up. I'm trying to keep my prayers up and all that.